Okay, uh, continuing with audit. Well, what is it that that we audit? What uh, are in the the files that we have to to audit? Our logs, which we either look at directly or through the uh, reporting system management uh, uh, programs and tools. Uh, well, first off, system events. Okay, what's a system event? Well, anytime somebody logs on. But more than that, anytime somebody accesses a file. Anytime uh, somebody logs in remotely. Anytime we receive a packet from the network. All of these can be system events. It, it, it you know, they're, they're all system events and that is part of the difficulty of audit and the uh, management tools uh, and the reporting of the management tools, what is it that we are going to tell them to report to us? Uh, how many uh, logins um, for a given individual is, is uh, an alertable situation? Uh, how many packets from a given um uh, IP address, or how many packets that are in fact identical, uh, possibly coming from different IP addresses, uh, distributed denial of service attack. Uh, all of these things, you know, we we have to determine the the thresholds, um, the uh, the clipping levels. You know, how how many events do we ignore uh, before we decide that yes. Uh, this is alertable. This is something to, to tell a person about. Uh, and, uh, well, and, and there are particular events. For example, there is, um, you know, access of uh, files. That happens all the time with, with pretty much everybody. You know, everybody's going to be doing that. But um, when it's system configuration files, and, and you know, here again, um, we have to look at the specifics, the details, the complexity of our access control. And, uh, you know, have we properly set up our uh, access control permissions, uh, privileges, rights, for the people who need to have extended access. We do not want to give universal access to everyone. And of course that was, uh, you know, with microcomputers and the uh, uh, increase of them over uh, a number of decades now, uh, their operating systems were, uh, you know, one size fits all and, and uh, basically, uh, everybody gets universal access. Um, that's uh, no longer the case in, in for the, the the bulk of the uh, different types of uh, uh, operating systems, even the um, uh, operating systems for for microcomputers. They allow us to set the specifics to be more discreet in terms of the permissions to uh, have uh, different levels of rights, different uh, privileges for, for different groups of users, and, uh, of course, reserve, hopefully reserve, and again, it's up to us to do this properly, to uh, reserve the rights to special uh, areas, special files, uh, special applications to those who actually need it. And of course, you know, uh, the need to know, the least privileges, all those kinds of uh, principles that, that should guide us in what we are doing. Now, the... Um, uh, well, you know, there's there's the special files and, and that sort of thing, but then there's the the applications and and applications themselves um, are making accesses. We have to uh, see that. You know, what uh, was it that triggered an application? 
uh, to make an access to perform a function. Um, why was that done? Uh, now, in, in most cases, that's done automatically, and, you know, there are uh, things that we don't want to know about it. It's just, you know, it, it happens as a matter of course. Okay, fine. Uh, but we do have to uh, pay attention and, and make sure that we are alerted to uh, areas that uh, are of concern. Um, we, uh, therefore, you know, need to pick up and... and at least have a tool uh, examine uh, those application events. Um, in particular, of course, error messages. Um, the, you know, if a mistake has been made. Now, is, is this a mistake that the users are likely to make on a regular basis? Or, you know, that's a, that's a training issue. Um, and, and should be included in, in training to uh, improve our efficiency and, and our, uh, um, you know, the, the overall benefits to the enterprise. But, um, you know, is, is this error something that indicates the possibility of an attack? And again, you know, we, we have to look at the types of error messages that we're getting uh, and, and tune our reporting systems to tell us uh, in appropriate situations that yes this is something we need to pay attention to um, there are going to be uh, certain violations within applications um, again is this as a result of somebody putting in improper data just as a mistake or um, is this an indication that someone is trying to create an error, trying to mess with our system in uh, certain ways so that um, we will, uh, th th sorry, they will have a an opportunity to attack us in, in a variety of ways. You know, th these are all things that need to go into our consideration of audit and our planning for how uh, we we set up our audit systems we set up our reporting systems um, how we deal with all of the different system events in our in our systems in our situations in our enterprise in all the supporting tools that we are using to uh, you know, in, in our information technology systems, in all of our, our systems. So, um, audit, audit is not a simple task, it's not a simple tool. We'll be going on with additional uh, materials in the next clip or so.